We're traveling all over Connecticut and southern New England, and now we're here in Danbury. I'm all queued up for some really good barbecue. Been looking to go to a nice barbecue place for a while. We've heard so much about this place. This is called The Q Barbecue Joint. It's an upscale barbecue restaurant known for really incredible creations. Now, I'm not just talking about stuff they just throw in the grill and then throw it on the plate. They have some impressive smokers out in the back that are huge. Well, we kind of wanted to just keep everything made in its, in its, keep it in its natural state and make everything from scratch. Everything is made from scratch. All the sauces, all the desserts, everything. They use local purveyors. It's an amazing place, unlike probably anything you've ever seen when it comes to barbecue. It is the Q here in Danbury. I'm hungry, queued up, ready to go. Let's check it out. Hey Jim, how are you? Fantastic. Welcome to the Q. Thanks. I'm, uh, I'm Chef Joey Oreo, I'm nice the owner of uh, the Q Restaurant and Barbecue. So this is our smoker area. This is all. Uh, this is where we have our 24 foot smoker, wow. all wood fired. So this is um, all wood fired barbecue. Mm -hmm. We use a mixture of wood, um, maple, hickory, apple, and oak. So here we have baby back ribs. We do free range half chickens. Nice. What are we looking at now? That looks amazing. So these are prime prime briskets. Um, when they come out, they're they're so tender. Yeah. These have been in for about um, eight hours. And then some nice looking sausage, huh? This is this is Italian sausage. Yeah. Uh, own recipe. How can you tell? What are you looking for? The, yeah. Just the caramelization yeah. and the and the surface. fat rendered and how tender it is. How tender. You can see the juice yeah. is dripping out of. Yeah. Yeah. So these are our baby back ribs we spoke about outside before and then just gonna cut them up and plate them for you. So would these be medium, or like in terms of how people order their meat? Um, well these, all barbecues, well done. Generally well. Yeah, yeah. it's all in the well done. We make a little bit of a daikon radish, carrot, and red onion. Oh boy, look how juicy these things are, huh? Yeah. <laughs> this is amazing. Let's dig right in. No chewing effort at all. It just falls right off, melts in your mouth. Mm. It's great. It's where they should be. Mm. What you wanted to create here that maybe didn't exist in the area, especially when it came to creation of barbecue. Tell us about that. Ten years ago, we started. We we fell into barbecue, and we just we liked it. We loved it. So, you know, our restaurant menu kind of has a mix of like American contemporary style, you know, food that we did, always traditionally did for our catering and barbecue. Let's talk about the food we have in front of us here. Chef Mike, we've got this towering burger here with the pickle and these really cool looking fries. What's on that plate? So here we have our BLT burger. It's served uh, with our house blend of ground beef, house made bacon, lettuce, tomato, avocado, Blue, blue cheese dressing, uh, served with our truffle parmesan fries, truffle oil, parmesan cheese, and some parsley. And then we have this over here, and that looks like it's something out of a magazine. What is that? So that's our dirty steak. It's a 16 ounce New York strip. We call it dirty steak because we started on the wood-fired grill, and we actually finish it in the embers, in the hot coals, oh, to get a nice sear on it, a nice crust. Yeah, that's that's Served with a uh, chipotle butter on top, side of uh, vegetable medley, carrots, green beans, and uh, mashed potatoes. And then we were talking about the cast iron pans. You've got a nice huge one over there which looks like maybe some macaroni and cheese, maybe some lobster sticking out. Is that what that is? Yeah, so that's our lobster mac and cheese as an entree in our restaurant. We, um, it's uh, fresh and yucky, a pound and a half lobster taken out of the shell, and it's cooked with like a blend of five, four, Five different cheeses. And then these wings, these aren't just any kind of wings, right? You make the sauce here and, and the dipping sauce. Tell us about this. So that is our original wings. And that's, that's you know, we make that sauce from scratch. That is one of the things that takes 
two months to prepare what that sauce it? in the restaurant. So it's, it's, it's our original hot sauce. And then here is again, the other plate, but now it's all plated beautifully. And this is what it looks like. Tell us again what we say. This is our smoked brisket, yes. a prime, prime yep. brisket. We make a horseradish cream for the, for the plate too. So it kind of like that horseradish bounce, it bounces out with the brisket and that crust. That was incredible. I tell you, everything there inside this massive restaurant, it, phenomenal. Everything is made from scratch, as I said. Did the brisket look good? What about that lobster mac and cheese? It was some of the best I've had in a long time. Everything here is terrific. Even the cocktails are spectacular as well. This is an upscale barbecue joint here in Danbury. It is called The Q. And if you're queued up to have some really good barbecue, you gotta come here to Danbury to check it out. That's my perspective, Connecticut. What is yours? Come to Danbury, check out the queue. You're gonna love it.